everyone. Today I'm going to talk about electron configuration. Well, well first I'm going to explain the periodic table. Hold on one second. Okay. The periodic table hotel. Okay. Now what is this? What is a hotel? Okay. There's floors. A lot of floors. Okay. And then we see hmm, there's bed. Okay. Now first we see there's in the, in the there's very there's seven class. Okay. I see the first class called S. Now we see there's one S and one S and three P, one S, three P, and like that. Um, and now we can find a very interesting thing. Let's see. One floor has a one to the power of two. Two floor have two to the power of two. Uh, three, like that. And so on. Okay. And there's some rules. First, all floor can only stay up to two person. Lower story room is usually prior to higher story room. What does that mean? Like if there's a P right here, another P right here, you will go to this one right here because you don't want to climb the stairs. Okay? And vacant room is usually prior to vacant bed. What does that mean? Like like the P, there's three people, right? The one room is already okay, so people live in the first room. And will you live with the people because you can hold up to two persons? No, you won't want to go to another room because that you don't want to live with a stranger, right? Okay? And higher classroom is always prior uh prior to is usually prior in the same floor. What that means? Like if there's an S right here, what S right here and a P right here, okay? So which one will you go first? You'll go to your S because it's the first class is better. Okay? If higher classroom is available on higher store, the class minus store it must be equal or greater than one. Like when it's all visible, the next one will go here or here. Well it's higher one floor and two class. So you will go to the S1 first. Okay? And then you will go back to the D5. That mean, okay? Okay, now we know the first people go here, the second people go here, and the first people go here, and the fifth, uh, that. It's already 10, so just draw. And then 11, and then 6, and then 10, right here. No, no. <laughs> okay. And then, I always forget. You go here for because I have two class only one floor. So you go here first, it's already 20. And then you go back here, 10. Okay, like that. And then you go up on the P3, like over that. And then where would you next go? Well, you will go here, right? I have two class only one floor. And two. And then you go back on the D5. Okay, and 10 is already 14. And then you go to here, 6, it's already 15. And then whoop, where you next go? Actually, you will go here, right? 2. And then where you go? Well, actually, you will go back to the F7, okay? F7. So you just go here for 14, it's already 7, 70. So it's just 2. And then what would you next go? You go here for ten, like that. And then you go here six. Okay? And you go here for six. Okay? And then how much is it? Okay? A second? No. Wait a second. I think it should be probably right here. Right here. Okay? And then the next will go with, well, when it's higher two class on one floor, so you go here first. And then you go back here, and it's already 100, so you need to go like that. And then you go here for 10. 
and then you go the here for six. Okay, and then you die. So it's only one hundred. Well, it's all and people already live right. Uh, people, people already live right here. Here, and live right here. This place, and it's, okay. And the hotel only have one hundred and eighty people come here. Okay. So what is share? Shell is for like the the first floor is a shell like that. It's called a shell. Okay, what is sub shell? Sub shell is like the class. Like this is a class. This is a class. So like S is a class. So S is a sub shell. What is orbital? Orbital is like the mm, room. Okay, so okay. So electron configuration. Now, how do you draw the hydrogen? Some people draw like that. And in the first floor, there's a S, and there's one people live inside. He then just one S two. But if it's like a, a silver, you need to draw it like that, very long. So people draw it the valence electron. First is the symbol of the all the element. Okay. And then, well, this is them. But let's see the chlorine, okay? First, let's see our chlorine. And I see in the first floor, there's an S, which has two people. And in the first floor, there's a P room, and which has five people. Like that. Just like that. Okay? So you draw the valence electron. So we can find they just go like this way, right? This way. It's diagonal line. Okay. Okay. You just put the diagonal line. Oh, see, all of you, all of you in here and this one is the S block, and all the element in here, the F line metal, is in the D, and this is F, and this is P. But remember, the S belong to here. Well, why? Because it's usually here. It should be right here. Okay, like that. So he belong to the like S block. So what's this? Now let's see. First one, hydrogen. We know there's a K shell. What's K shell? K shell is the first shell. Okay, the first shell hydrogen have one electron. The helium has two electrons. Uh, and L is the second shell, okay? Like the Li, L, E, and then there's two, all of it are four, so it's two, right? Already. And the Li has one in the L shell, and this has two, and so on, okay? And the M shell is the first shell, and all of it is four already. That's the first. There's one electron, two electron, three electron, four electron, five electron, six, seven, eight. You can find all noble gas have all noble gas have eight in their valence electron valence shell except helium. Okay, if you okay, what is Louis electron gas symbol? Well, actually, this is wrong. I think because the helium no, because that the the helium should be like that, and then it should be at this like that, that because they are in the same floor. So I think this picture is wrong. Okay, so this is right, and this is wrong. Okay, now let's see. Um, in the first A, now let's see the valence electron has one. So they will become a cation because they throw away one electron become positive one. A two have two in the valence electrons so they give up two and a three zero. so on. But the A four is in the middle, so it can it's okay have four in the valence electron, but it could positive or negative because it can throw or take some. And the A five will actually they will become an anion, so they just get free electrons. 
electron, let's get two electrons, get one, and they don't get and don't um, throw away any electron like that. Okay. Okay, and what's this? Uh, you can um, draw it in a different way. First, you can just draw electron, or you can use the Lewis dot. Or you can just write, or you can just draw like that. P3, 3S2, 3P3, like that. So there's different ways to write that. Count. How many balanced electrons are in sulfur? Okay. Okay, so how many electrons are in sulfur? Well, first we got there 16, right? You first, you minus the 2, and then you minus 8, which is equal to 6. Okay. And second, which atom is the, which atom least below will be the least one to lose electron to form a cation? Well, this is one in the outside, so it's not. And this is um, not okay, not very stable, okay. And this is very close to one, so and this is very close to eight, okay. So the answer is this because very close to eight, you should take one. So the answer is D. What atom this below has the greatest chance to lose two electrons to form a cation? Uh, uh, helium was noble gas. Now there's two in the outer, and there's four, and there's six. Well, actually the answer is this, Mg, because it has two in the outer shell, valence shell. Which cation or iron <coughs> is the most stable one? Well, <coughs> let me see. You can see the low things. Oh, which one? Well, this is a noble gas because it's okay. First up, wait a second. I'll talk about this first. Our first one is 2 2, right? It has 4 electron, but it's loose 1, so it becomes 2 1. And this one, well, well, this is not be well. This is two one and minus two is become two negative one. So I don't think this is a very good thing. Okay. And what about this one? Well, this be uh, and if you change it be a noble gas like that. So it's very stable. And this one, well, this one is uh, quite stable. Okay. So which one is the most stable one? The answer is Al. Uh, C is the answer because it becomes like a normal gas. Okay, so what's the chemical formula? What's the chemical formula if you want? What's the chemical formula if you want to mix the Mg and chlorine together? Yes, what's your chemical formula? So what is the chemical formula? Okay, so I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay, um, we know the first thing we need to know is this. Well, like that. Oh, uh, so it needs one, right? But they have two, so if two chlorine plus one and G is good. So we can write this and G C L two like that. Okay, and G C O. So we can write this MgC 